a gripping and gut-wrenching story about the pain a Memphis mother is struggling with every day. See, her son was shot to death while driving on a Memphis interstate, and more than a year later, his case is still unsolved. Yeah, Memphis police say they are doing everything they can to solve the crime, so we look for solutions in another city. And Fox 13 investigator Dakari Turner shares her story and a possible solution. The pictures around her house remind her of better moments, a beaming smile on her son's face. Well, Ladarius was more of a family man. Most of his time was spent with family uh, here. Yeah, and that princess hair is long. Or with his daughter. Mm -hmm. For this interview, the emotion clear, everything is flooded in red. Down to the red hair she wears, most everything Sharon Moore does these days is to remember Ladarius, now in her memory, the only place he still lives. How are you able to move forward? No matter how heavy this, this is for me, I have to do this for somebody who was always in my corner. It was about midday last October when Ladarius Spates was headed to meet friends. After getting onto the ramp at I-40 in Sycamore View, Ladarius's car veered across westbound traffic, hitting the barrier before coming to a stop. Ladarius Spates was just 26. Are you angry? Very. At whom? I'm angry at the person who decided that my son didn't deserve to be on this side. It's a whole lot of frustration with the police. Um, and with the questions that I've asked and the answers that I, I received. Chief of her questions is what she's told by detectives that despite cameras that monitor traffic on Memphis interstates, no camera footage of her son's shooter exists. Check 951 if you make the scene. Ladarius is one of many people shot on Memphis interstates, 315 in the past four years, a pace of one every five days. Lieutenant Colonel Stanley Johnson is one of the people charged with overseeing those investigations. Fox 13 investigates asked for police records on shootings, the number happening and the number solved. Police clear 13% of cases. There will be some people um, who might watch this and say, hey, what's the problem? Why can't you solve them? Well, we do. Uh, uh, definitely it takes uh, citizen involvement and the victim and they're locating evidence. Fox 13 investigates wanted to know what is being done to solve shootings in other cities. Expressway shootings are very unique. You know, it's a rolling crime scene. Just up I-55 in Chicago, the state invested $12.5 million in a network of automated license plate reading cameras rolled out last year. Illinois State Police say the rate of shootings solved increased by nearly 30%, 300 of the cameras to be installed in the Chicagoland area by year end. The LPRs give our investigators an absolute place to start their investigation. And I, I can't see a reason why other jurisdictions wouldn't have those same successes. So we asked police here. Do you believe technology like I just described would help? Well, we are using the latest technology available to us along with the other agencies in the local area. And the technology, to my understanding, doesn't have the ability to read license plates. Well, I'll just say the latest technology available. In an effort to protect their investigations, they said their answer would go no further, but have said publicly that a partnership with Highway Patrol saturating highways to enhance a visible presence is working. Their numbers show a near 50% drop in occurrences this year over last, but still the vast majority of cases and the families behind them without what could be justice. Do you think that's something that should be implemented here? Absolutely. The state, the governor, legislators, do you think they're going far enough to solve this issue of interstate shootings in Memphis? I don't think so because it's con it continues to happen. It continues to happen. Repeated attempts to get Governor Bill Lee and Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland to comment for our story went unanswered. We wanted to ask them if they were examining other ways to help Memphis police increase their case closure rate. We also wanted to know if they've been in contact with legislative leaders about funding any sort of camera program. No answers yet, but of course, we'll keep trying. Dakari Turner, Fox 13 Investigates.